So where does it land? Well, looking at this problem, well, we got self, got that velocity here, I got that velocity here, the first part of this video. We solve for time total is equal to time to the vertex plus time from the vertex back down to the ground. That's my total time, okay? So that's to the vertex back down, okay? The amount of time it takes to get it here is the first part of that. It's this TV. From there to there, looks considerably longer, is this other T. They're not necessarily the same thing, okay? If it was a level surface, if it was flat, it would turn out to be the same thing. But because it's following this distance, it's not, okay? All right, so... Boy, that problem was long last time. Just solving for the time. It must take me forever to solve for where it lands. Well, let's look at it. Where it lands, once again, is talking about motion that's only in the x direction. So all of its vectors have to be in the x direction. What's going on in the x? Well, we got this displacement, this big old displacement vector that starts from the edge of the cliff, goes all the way through, and ends up where it lands. Okay? Got that one. What other vectors are floating around? Got an acceleration? Yes, but it's that way. Okay. There's my acceleration. Is that in the x direction? Heck no. Gonna ignore it. What else do we got going on? Well, we got a velocity. We got a velocity that's in this direction, but I was smart and I already broke it up. You see an angle and a velocity? Split it up. I got a velocity in the x and a velocity in the y. Obviously, the velocity in the y is not in the x, otherwise we call it velocity in the x. So we're going to ignore it. Leaves me with only two vectors. Two bender, two. I got a distance, this displacement vector, and I got this velocity vector. I'm trying to solve for the displacement, so I'm left with displacement is equal to vx times time, which time is that? Is that t this, t that, or t this? Right there. It's the amount of time it's in flight, which is its total time. t total plus, oops, almost put an e there, total time plus one half the acceleration times time squared. What's the acceleration in the x direction? <gasps> Zero. Am I going to put it up there? Heck no. <coughs> Excuse me. Distance, our displacement, is equal to velocity x plus, our velocity x, not plus, times total time. I've just determined where the truck is going to land. Was it any harder? No, because we had this problem on the previous problem, a velocity in this direction. There's nothing different from Nothing different from the previous problem, the one where the truck just simply drives off the cliff. Nothing different in the x direction from that problem from this problem. So it should look identical. Okay? No acceleration in the x direction, so there should be no change in this equation. Cool? All right, so that's kinematics in two dimensions. These two problems should help you solve all sorts of kinematics problems. Okay? So, that's it. I will talk to you later.